Evening everyone, welcome back to another uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. Hopefully everything is showing up as I was just using the Stream Deck thing. So hopefully you can hear me alright, I'm just making sure. Uh, yeah, I think, I think you should be able to hear me, hopefully it will be all good. Uh, just obviously do let me know in the uh, in the chat. But yeah, we're going to be flying from Barcelona to Madrid on today's flight. Let me flick over to the chat, which should be loaded up on the other panel. If it loads, why is it being slow? We are on, this is the tablet. There we go, let's go on to that. There we go, there's the uh, chat. Anyway, hello to, uh, we've got Quico, Dexter, LWR, LaserJet. Uh, we've got Luke, uh, we've got Ron, French Dog, Sebastian, Yoshi, we've got Diaz, uh, we've got Sesta. How's everyone doing? Hopefully once we've got Mr. Adams as well. Uh, now I'd imagine, hold on, let me quickly unmute the game audio so if I do that and click there you should now be able to hear the game audio yeah getting used to this uh, stream deck thing so I can change it from my tablet so I can change it like boom and back to that like on my tablet which is quite cool so just trying to get used to that um anyway hello uh, Daniel how are you little test there <laughs> yeah I'm all good so it saves us having to you know, shut down the tab to do things. We can just do it on here. Right, anyway. Um, that's our baggage is done. It's very grey, isn't it, at Barcelona? That was fast. Hello, NG. Let's get the plane all set up. So we'll do the master switch and APU start. There's that. We wait for that. Uh, also request IFR clearance. Hello, power. Want to come and join power? We'll just do that now. IFR clearance. Maybe at some point, uh, LWR. Yeah, maybe at some point. Yeah, you can be the trolley man. Up to 13,000 out of here. And our squat code is 5056. 5056. There we go, that's all sorted. Uh, we get that up as well. There. Yeah, from Barcelona to Madrid power. There we go. Cool. And then pick your arrivals and departures and that sort of thing. I think I was on ILS Z or well, actually I can check. Yeah, for the, your arrivals or approach, I think it's approach power. Uh, make sure you pick um oh where where the hell is it on it? It's on here somewhere. Um for your final approach you wanna go Oh it's on here, isn't it? Uh you wanna go to ILS thirty two left. Right, uh, let's quickly contact the, we'll get the information, nice power, 2986, change that, back to there before they ramble on, there we go, right, uh, let's request jetway disconnection, how's everyone doing tonight, hopefully everyone is all well, fuel pumps, let's get them all good, we are flying fueling tonight, there you go. It's quite a nice livery. I've heard it's quite a low budget airline, so oh hang on. Who's that? Someone's born the hitting my wing. <laughs> oh, is that laser jet? I think that might be laser jet there next to me. Cool. You did something else. Oh. Yeah, thirty two left power. Yeah, can you hear everything alright? Because yeah, I was using stream deck. Sounds fancy, doesn't it? Right, um, yeah, it's like 15 quid a month for Streamlabs Prime. Although it'll probably be worth it in the long run, so. Uh, right. Get that. That. Seat belts. Boom. Taxi IFR. You're easy, Jet. Nice. How do I join the game? We're on open multiplayer. So just born into Barcelona. Um, on the West Europe server, all of the left hand side boxes tick things like live players, live weather, and just everything on the left hand side ticket. And then, um, then you'll be on open multiplayer. Yes, yeah, just open, anyone can join. Cool, right, let's get a push back. I think we are all good to go. Question push back. Uh, get the parking brake off. Seatbelt signs are on. Let's go. How is everyone this evening? Hopefully everyone's all well. 
Yeah, there's uh, there's laser jet. If I go first, laser jet, otherwise I think we end up whacking each other, <laughs> which we don't want. And there's the tug. So I'm going to swing out that way, I think. So to the right. Well, it's to the left, but you have to click right for it to do it. Right, and any second now, back we go. There we go. But yeah, this is part of the um, livery pack Europe, which is like three quid at the moment, and you get eight liveries. So if you're on Xbox, or even just you're on PC like me, very much worth it. And you get EasyJet as well. Although I think the best one, if you're on console, is probably to get the livery pack 2 by Breedock, I think it is, because that one actually has a sound pack to it as well, so it sounds better. And also the Neo livery. That's a better EasyJet one. Uh, I'd say hard on line, Sebastian. There we go. If you wait there, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to end up whacking each other. Ah, it's busy here, isn't it? Everyone's taken off. They're not planes, they are. Little prop planes. Right, um, let's get everything else sorted. Taxi, wing, beacon, uh, and I think we're all good to get the engines on. Right, uh, ignition start, engine two. Where's that start coming on? Yeah, we're flying over to Madrid. It was like Bajalas Airport. So we're coming out of Barcelona. I didn't think it was actually going to be that long of a flight, but yeah, it's like an hour. You've got a massive section to Prado and then to Madrid, which is just there. Yeah, it's quite a long flight. Evening, Amanda. How, how are you doing? It's coming on. Alright, so it looks like we've got Russian dough, a French dough in here, as well as laser jet. Anyway, are you in a Vueling livery as well? There's like a Vueling and a Swedish air service livery mashed into one. I'm guessing you're probably Vueling. Oh no. No, back to back to Swedish air services. I don't know. But yeah, feel free to come in. There's actually an SAS one over there. But yeah, it's not the nicest of weather, is it? Very just grey and... Almost a like sandy, isn't it? Sort of thing. Sort of yellowy. As the sun goes down. Right, that one's all ready. Now engine number one. Let's get that on. Contact Barcelona Tower. Uh, gonna get that ready as well. Don't know where we're taxiing to, so I'm gonna pop on the uh, taxi guide as well. There we go. Almost done, laser jet. Lovely Dexter, you got everything ready, hey? Well, thanks to whoever just subscribed as well, much appreciated. I don't think that actually does show up on there, but... It says, I'm a little prop plane, am I? Oh, weird. I shouldn't do. Oh, it might be because I'm close to you. If I go further away, you might then turn into... I might then turn into a big plane. Hello, Trinister. I'm all good. How are you? You've disappeared. Where have you gone? <laughs> um... That's turning on nicely. But yeah, this is Barcelona. Or Barcelona, isn't it? Like Barcelona, that's how you pronounce it. Someone else there? Tons of people in little planes. Although they're probably in ones I don't have, so it's like a little plane. That's all good, laser jet. Yeah, still in the big one for me. Sounds good, para. Yeah, you get a checklist for it, para. You get the checklist up here and it tells you where everything is. So, I just went through that tons of times. Right, that is on, yeah. That's on, get that off. Um, get that to normal. Right, let's start taxiing up. Let's get going. You want Etihad one, nice. Hello, Beverly. How are you? Let's go. We are using a flight stick for this. If you're getting flight sim very much worth it getting a flight stick and even, if, uh, even if you're on Xbox I think you can uh, have a flight stick yeah good to hear Trinister Adam Beverly, Jackie Dory, how are you as well how's everyone doing you can't wait too fast for me <laughs> sending a prop plane hmm odd then ladies I'm not too sure there's another one coming look at that someone's just landed that's a pretty good view. Oh no, oh no, they're taking off, I think. 
And there's strobe lights hanging out the back as well. Cool. I was hoping we have a... Uh, we don't have a tailwind, because if you've got a tailwind, it's really hard to take. Well, not hard to take off, but it just makes it harder. I've also forgot to dump fuel, so I'll do that once we're in the air. What run were we taking off from? Uh, no clue, actually. I think it was runway 20, 20 I think. Something 20? Oh, 25 left. Oh, no, that's the other one. Yeah, I think we're on 20, the one I'm going from. I saw everyone landing on the other one, so... I thought I might as well take off from this one. Cool. There's a lot of people here, yeah. It's a fairly big airport, Barcelona. Barcelona. Barcelona, one of the two. And there's Para over there. Hello, Para. Give us a wave. <laughs> Quite far over there. And we've got a laser jet and French stove to the left of us. We're near enough to the left of us. But yeah, we are in a Vueling livery. Because I think Vueling is a Spanish budget airline. So it's like the Ryanair of Spain. Or at least that's what I've been to uh, told. Quite a nice livery though. Or was Para taken off or has he given us a wave? I think he's given us a wave. Nice. But yeah, not the nicest of weather. That's why you just follow me, ladies shit, if you want, then request permission from here. Right, here's two AI planes. So we've got to wait for them to go. In fact, can we... Can we cut cut them up there? Can we go up there, then around and take off? Oh, no, it is here. Okay. No, we could go to there. We'll wait, though. Hello Magic, uh, this my old camp was... Oh yes, I got ya. Got a hat, oh blimey. How you doing? Oh sweet pal, just make sure there's no multiplayer people landing as people get quite grumpy if uh, someone's in the way. But I mean, fair enough. Yeah, just make sure there's no multiplayer people on approach. If there is, just take off. Yeah, so that's probably a plane I don't have. Or realistically, that might be like a, a 737, which I don't have. So that's why it shows up as a prop plane, which is quite weird. But hang on, laser jet's there. But if you go then, laser jet. If you take off, get in the air. Why don't you reset your... Oh, we're talking to uh, Mapic. Yeah, if you take off, laser jet. I think that plane's actually going to go through you there. Yeah. That plane's just gone through laser jet. Says I'm unknown. Huh. And there goes laser jet. <laughs> That's not interesting to me. <laughs> right, let's get our uh, runway light on. Get them on as well. Uh, let's just line up. Let's go up to runway. My old account was still a member of the British Host, but I couldn't access it. Ah, oh, I got you. Now we can request takeoff clearance, although probably have to wait for that plane, but we'll do it anyway. Uh, actually, not that just yet. Let's request takeoff clearance. They probably say we'll line up and wait, or wait behind that one there. There's a tiny plane. Yeah, hold short, it says there. Okay, they're not even going to chat to me. It's a very small plane. Off it goes, though. I think that's actually a Vueling, that one. <laughs> Just like us, but it's the tiny one. Right, line up and wait. Call sign, line up and wait. Right, let's get on the runway and line up. Then a second they say get they say take off. As we are in multiplayer, just gonna check. All good, we're not gonna be blocking anyone. 
onto the runway. I just need to wait up, I wait for my uh, takeoff clearance as we just said line up and wait. There. Hello Twisted, they have taken this off Gaming Cloud now for normal Xbox One. Why? Why have they done that? Oh, I see, yeah, Michael. I wonder why they did that. Doesn't seem like any reason to do that. That's a bit cheeky. Well, let's head line up and wait. There you go. Clip take off, 29.85. Wind is at 59. And wind's at 25, uh, 25 knots. Oh, there goes uh, French Doak. And we've got a wind. Yeah, it was 89, wasn't it? So that will be... I don't say that will be able to mean uh, headwind. <laughs> That's an iron twisted. Uh, how can they... Why did they take it off the cloud, though? Seems like a bit of a silly thing to do. Engine stable. And... Go. Full whack. Gotta be careful here because there's a the runway comes across this one, so just gotta make sure for multiplayer people. But I think we'll be all right. Out to 140 odd knots, and V1 rotate. Okay, now we got a blimmin' tailwind. Yeah, that's one we don't want. Oh, that won't help us. Right, positive climb, gear up. We can only take the flaps off. Oh, Barcelona departure. Lovely. Heading up. I just want to follow the flight plan in a second. I'll pop on the autopilot. Right, autopilot's coming on. I set that to uh, climb, and there we go. We're up. Fair few people. Yeah, how high do we want to fly? And uh, not too. What's my cruising altitude? My cruising altitude today is twenty-six thousand feet. Yeah, we're up. Yeah, this is fueling. Contact Barcelona Centre on 119.45. Decimal yeah, good day. 10,000 as planned. That's quite low, isn't it? 450. Oh. There we go, we're up. We're all good. Can everyone hear everything and everything looking good? Oh, I'm not double streaming, so I'm not doing it onto uh, Trovo. As on this game, obviously it's multiplayer, and obviously if the internet can only just about manage a single player game, I don't want to risk it. And also on this game, you have to download the, um, like, you know, map. So doing a double stream probably isn't a good idea for it. At least for my connection. We're all good though, we're up. Is it going to do the glitch? No, it's not. We're doing at 23 past 7, which ain't bad at all, actually. That's really not bad. That can't be right. 23 past. That can't be right. It wasn't that long. It was like a 40, 50 minute flight. And that says we'll get there in 35 minutes. Unless we've got a tailwind, which we won't do. Hmm. Well, not going to Not going to moan. Yeah, on our way. Yeah, come and try and get up to 20 likes. That'll be lovely. We'll probably be live again later. And that'll probably be on Horseshoe Curve again. So probably no Generation Zero tonight. Right, we're going now above 10,000 feet. Oh, get that off. Up to 20,000 feet. Let's get that up. Acknowledge that. 20,000. 
wonder how high up the clouds are. Yeah, Barcelona to Madrid. That is our flight today. Let's have a look. Traffic alert. Yeah, so we're there. So coming out of Barcelona, over here, then it's pretty much just a massive straight line over towards Madrid to Prado and then to Madrid. But yeah, flying fueling. It's got a little Spain, Spanish flag there at the back. But it hasn't got the uh, coat of arms on it, but yeah, near enough. Not bad. Look at that. Oh, that does look pretty cool. Alright. You've been watching your videos for a while. You got me into the trucking game on the road. Lovely, Trendster. I don't know if that's a good thing, getting you into on the road, but... Fair enough. As yeah, it, since the last update... No will support steel. Oh, awesome, uh, French dog. I can see you just over there. Can I see your plane, though? No, I think you're in the clouds. Or can I? No, not just yet. Similar flight plan, though. I've sort of got to go along here, then turn to the left. Not EasyJet outrageous. Well, that means EasyJet will be running this flight. Nice livery, though. It's pretty fresh, the yellow on it. There we go. But now we chill out and relax. So, who wants to be the trolley dolly service? <laughs> ah, see, so it's just spawn in. Spawn in sort of where we go, or where I am, because you'll see me on the map, just spawn in just ahead of me. And it'll probably spawn you in at 36,000 feet, but that's all good. For 28,000 feet, you're going to ask some more blimey power. You're going high up, mate, today. I'm 26,000, that's what I'm going to go to. Can't maintain 26,000. There we go. Cool. Lovely. I was trying to find like a challenge there, but I, I, I was originally going to do Nice to Barcelona. But in the end, I was like, nah, it's going to be dark by the time we get in and set up and take off. Um, I was looking for a small airport in Spain, which would take like a, you know, one of these planes. But there wasn't too many from what I saw. At least from Barcelona way. Hello, Jens. Yeah, we're on PC. And yes, I have got the, uh, I'm guessing you're on about the fly-by-wire A320. I have got that. Or A32NX mod. Or is it an A330? That would be cool. But no, I just use the base Microsoft one. Uh, I'm more of a flight novice. Um, and by using this one, everyone can see it in multiplayer. So it's, it's sort of ideal for multiplayer. Because otherwise, you know, I'll be... I don't know, in some generic A plane it will show me as. So by being in this, everyone can see me. Hello, Cano, how are you? That's great, this game. You've got Etihad, nice power. That's a place we haven't really flown into. Well, maybe when it's the World Cup, we'll have to go into Qatar. We'll go Etihad. <laughs> the rivals to Qatar. What is this? Emirates, Etihad and Qatar, isn't it? Sort of the really sort of luxurious, posh airlines. You've got the crappy ATC voices. Now, is that why they sound really high pitch or really low pitch? Yeah, laser jets representing an easy jet on this flight. Imagine that, four, four planes all within two minutes of each other going to the same airport. 
Proper frequent service. Oh, lovely power. 158 nautical miles to Prado, and that's 21 past si uh, 21 past seven. And arrival time, that's a bit more realistic, is now 22.8. So yeah, not a lot to see down below as it's all cloudy. I didn't see, you know, town or sort of whatnot down there. Cool. The other flight we did was good. I think we did, um, yeah, Lisbon to Alicante. That was a good flight. Uh, see French though. I still get why mine are really quiet, but then if I unplug my headphones, the ATC is the normal sort of volume. It's weird. Make on our way. Snacks anyone? Long we go. Cool. Maybe at some point I'll try and do a. Uh, a multi-stream on this but for now, well on the PC games, don't want to risk anything especially if it's multiplayer so probably only for console sort of offline games is it oh nice Callum Gatwick to Innsbruck uh, we've actually done that before Electro Farmer yeah we did it before and it crashed like on the last 10 minutes which is really annoying because it sort of broke that realism feel we landed in the end quite rough as it was sort of like just to get it down and get off of here. Yeah, we have done that flight before. Although we wouldn't, wouldn't mind doing it again. I always like I always like landing at Innsbruck in the in the dark as well. Much easier to see the pappy lights. Hello exploring, how are you? I think I'm going to practice driving with the steering wheel, a Mazda MX-5, almost no traction control. Nice power. Oh, <laughs> see Callum. On it for a week. Cool. A little bit of, a uh, little bit shaky. I'm just going to put that on just in case. Guess we are coming into a bit of turbulence. You get any turbulence power? It's it's a little bit, you can see it's shaking a bit. Hello Pete, it's quite easy to master a lot of controls and switches. Yeah, fairly. I mean I've been playing this since August and I feel like um you know, I'm alright now on the A three twenty. Uh, I think I'd know what to do, you know, if an engine stalled thanks to tutorials and all that sort of stuff, so yeah, I think I'm fairly confident in it now. I know where all the switches are. How you doing, Pete? Good exploring. You're ahead. Nice. Going to 36,000. Wow. I'm at my cruising altitude now. 26,000. Although we're still going a bit slow. We're going at 285 at the moment. We could really be going 320, but... Um, hmm. Let's uh, speed up a tad. My sister's 40 past, ain't too bad. Hello, Blenos, how are you? Well, I'm going to get up a little. Might be because the wind is affecting it a little bit, so we might hear overspeed in a second. We go up to about that. Hello, Gamer Boy, no turbulence here. Yeah, I think it's all good now, let's get that off. It's got a little bit rocky. What altitude is everyone else at? That is just 23,000, Paris 30,000, and uh, French Doge is 29,000. It was doing 55 minutes ago. So I think that's because it's um, an hour behind, isn't it, the clock here? So it'll be 38. It's already, you know, the time's already coming down because of that. Uh, you, there is a passenger view, although that's not great. Um, yeah, there it is. Well, you can't look around and see people chilling out. There it is. I thought you can see. Look at the wing. Look at the wing there, shaking about. Brilliant. What's your opinions on horseshoe curve? It's a nice route. 
Nice route. I uh, mean, if you like US freight routes, it will be right up your street. Obviously, everyone knows me. I'm not the biggest fan of, or the biggest enthusiast of US freight, hence the why we don't stream it very often. But, you know, it's a nice route. Um, it's not too bad. And yeah, if you like US freight, it will be for you. I can only see the blue sky and clouds below me. You're really high up. 33 odd thousand. I suppose I could request a uh, increase in um, altitude. Alright, it's Pete. Yeah, it's only an hour's flight, so. Want snacks? Go on then, Dexter. Yeah, okay, we'll go up a little bit then. Uh, increase. We'll go up by. We're at 26. Let's go up to 35,000. So that would be. Oh, we can't do 9,000. Let's do that. We'll go up to 34,000. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, Ladies jet. Pain of going so slow yet. Yeah. Might be a bit calmer up there as well. It's a little bit windy here. Put that back into uh, manage mode. That'll help us go up. You can't see laser jet or power. Well, I can see you. I could see you. Yeah, you're over there. Exotic. Right, making our way up. Nice evening uh, flight. Sun's still way up, so we sh it should be light when we land. You've got 36,000. There we are, heading towards Madrid. Let's see where we are on the map. We are here, so we're not, well, we're about um, almost halfway to Prado now. Or Prado. We're coming up to halfway at least. She, no, about a third of the way. Yeah, about a third of the way. 50,000. <laughs> Hello, Quicko. How are you doing? Uh, let's put the ND range up. Yeah, it's about 160 miles to Madrid. Now, we're due in there at 39 parts. So, about 35 minutes. That's 290 nautical miles. I think you need to go lower. Biology revision, that was like the best revision. Ones that were boring were physics, physics and chemistry. They were sort of the really dull, boring revision stuff to do. Pass them in the end, somehow, but. Your speed keeps going up and it's annoying. Uh, just do manual. Yeah, change it manually. Yeah, it'll be worth it, quicko. When, you know, you sign up for a job somewhere. They see biology on your CV and they're like, wow, we want him. That'd be worth it. <laughs> Doing gas exchange, nice. 101 nautical miles. 10,000, oh, you're going 10,000 lower. You love physics, fair enough, Sebastian. I passed it and forgot it. That's what you do, though, innit? You pass say English language, the subject, and then you just forget everything what you learn in it. So it's only you know, when we pass it's all good. See ya Pete, thanks for coming in mate. See you in a little bit. You're doing physics A level, awesome. Yeah, take care Pete. Physics A level, nice quick oh. Wait, physics A level, blimey, that is uh Wow, good luck. <laughs> That sounds very difficult. But especially if you're interested in it, it'll probably be fun. What do you hope to become in the future, Quicko? By physics, what would physics be? Like an engineer or something? An electrician? I see loads of it in front of me. Yeah, there's just over there. Hang on, at 41,000 power. I'm pretty certain the the limit of the um, 
A320 is um, is 39,000, 38,000, I think. No, 39,000, I think it goes up to. Wow, you are really high up. Okay. Awesome. Let's see, quick, okay. Yeah, I'm still due in. I'm 38 past now. That's not too bad. 80 miles to pray out. That's coming down quite quickly, actually. And we're due there in 12 minutes. Aeronautical engineering. Don't know what to say. You're still going up. 42,500 in an A320. Wow. Oh no, coming down now. I'm guessing the plane isn't happy. <laughs> Have we got it all figured out then, Para? How to uh, change the altitude knob here and the speed and that sort of good stuff. Got 38,000 now, sounds better. See, one thing I don't get why you can't, even on the fly by wire version, you can't do it, which really confuses me. You can't use the blooming sun visor. You'd think it'd be fairly basic, wouldn't it? You sort of just, you know, click it, it sort of folds down, but you can't use it. Even on the flyby wire version, if I remember correctly. Yeah, making our way up. Transponder mode. Let's have a look at all the bits over here. I've been lost the cursor again. Hold on, there we go. Um, probably not too much to begin with, Quicko, but after that, probably bad things will start happening. Transponders on. See, I think on um, on the fly-by-wire version, you have to change this thing here. I don't know what it's called, but you have to change it to like take off, take off mode or something. Good day. Yeah, nice flight there. Right, um, our new cruising altitude of 34,000 feet. Uh, I'm going to speed up a little bit. If we go say that, Mach 84. Also, a flight to St. Martin's. Is that the uh, one with like, the airport where there's like a hill on one side? So you sort of go down really steep down at the last second. That's a weird airport. I'm going like a slightly different way to you lot. You guys are sort of going over that way. I'm sort of heading this way. Well, I suppose I am going... Well, you might actually have a different runway, actually. Yeah, you might be going to a different runway. What runway are you landing on? I'm landing on... Uh, I thought that might happen. Hold on. Yeah, I thought that might happen. There you go. Go down to that. Um... Let me have a look. Madrid Centaur. Hold on. Uh, Madrid Centaur 118275. Good day. 118275. 275. There we go. Let's have a look. Yeah, I'm landing on the middle runway, I think. Uh, let's see. Is it going to load? Oh. Yeah, runway 32 left. Have oh, you got 32 left as well? Uh, I suppose maybe you're going straight like there. Just over there. Interesting to see who gets there first. I reckon it's probably going to be Para. Para will get there first. 58 nautical miles to Prado. And we've got about 7 minutes. Well, hang on. Eight minutes. And after that, it's not too far. A1, Sergu, D-Cell, Asbin. And then to the airport. Lovely. Let's uh, try and get the sun out of our way. If we sort of just sit there. There we go. That's better. 
But yeah, thanks all for coming in for a bit of uh, flight simulator. Maybe laser jet. Turns how fast you're going. Am I going at uh, Mac 82? Oh, laser jet's in front, is he? Yeah, I'm going at Mac 82. Or dot at not dot 82. Planes land 60 feet above your head. At St. Mark. Oh, oh, that's the. Where is that Corfu? I think that might be Corfu. You seem to have uh, messed up the flight plan. Oh, whereabouts are you heading, French dog? Uh, yes, yeah, should be AC. We'll be on Horseshoe Curve and we'll be doing the South Fork section of the route. As earlier, we did one from Altoona, Johnstown, and no, Johnstown, Altoona. So in this one, we're going from South Fork, um, or the South Fork branch up to Johnstown. So the other extra part of the route. Said it was like an hour, 22 minutes somehow. So we'll be doing that later on. We're doing 270 knots or some laser jet. Also known as Mayho Beach. Ah. Yeah, I think on the next flight some stream, I'll attempt to do it to Trovo as well. Because at the moment I'm just doing it to YouTube. Because on this you have to download like the maps. I don't want to like, stress the internet too much. You know, it gets angry. Um, but that's what we can try at some point. Hello, Kearney. Probably quicker. 270 knots. I'm going 282 slash 3. Sounds good, AC. Lovely cockpit, though, on the uh, Airbus. The thing I don't like about Boeing, the Boeing, has co the Boeing cockpit layout is horrid. Like you've got like, the, um, the ILS and all that autopilot over like this side. It's weird. I don't like the Boeing layout. Airbus is much more simple. and Everything's sort of just in the right place. <laughs> Yesterday, quick home. Um, it's fifteen pound a month for Streamlabs uh, Prime, but we do stream quite a bit, um, and also now to Trovo as well. So I think it should be worth it in the long run. Nice power, and we got the Stream Deck, which makes the PC st uh, streams much better. Well, just much more smoother. Twenty-eight thousand. And I'll take that back to managed. It's an almost at Prado now, 31 nautical miles. Hello, White Eye, how are you? The new Boeing 1 package is too expensive. Boeing 1? Oh, the Boeing 737 must just come out. The internet speed, um, not the quickest. <laughs> Mate, it can handle 60 FPS streams just about. So I suppose you know two multi-stream, you know two of them, 30 FPS each. It runs okay. -ish. No, it's just a, it's an app, Quicko. Yeah, it's called Streamlabs Deck. Um, it's quite cool. It like comes up with all of the uh, sort of Streamlabs buttons on my tablet or you can have it on your phone as well so you know I can just keep playing all of a sudden I can click something and it will change and so you won't you won't notice it good to hear white yeah I'm all good you see the news I did yeah not good um, Brian yeah not good hopefully it wasn't too serious hopefully no one did pass away but yeah not good to her Oh, deluxe! Yeah, the deluxe edition for this game is like seventy quid, and that's on top of what I've already purchased, which was the sixty quid standard edition. It's quite a bit, and I've heard that the seven eight seven and the other one aren't really that detailed. So, right, let's um, look up the Madrid airport information. <laughs> Do you ever not get tempted to a high speed dive and pull up at the last second? I'm pretty certain we did something very similar before, um, and it didn't end too well. <laughs> oh, was it Munchies? Not good. Not good at all. How you doing, Munchies? I'm guessing it's uh, 
almost home time now. Right, let's um, look up the information for Madrid. There was two airports at Madrid. Oh, blimey. <laughs> that is embarrassing. On my Euro Gamer News on my phone, it says Battlefield 2042 Steam Concurrent Players falls by 1,000. EA have really screwed up on that game. Right, let's bring that down. Oh, hello. I'm changing something there. I don't want to do that. Uh, let me quickly acknowledge that. Right, let me have a look. So, uh, oh, blimey, Munchies. That is, yeah, not good at all. You have to circle Madrid. Yeah, not good. Let's see. Uh, Madrid Airport. Hopefully, it will come up with the main one. Airport Sky Brary. <laughs> Radar. Dodge in star. We'll probably do that in one of the small planes. Madrid Barajas Airport. Alright, let's uh, pop that. We'll must that Prado now. It dropped to 800. Wow. Let's see. Um, in it. Uh, approach. No, not that. Uh, performance. Approach. We're starting to come down now. So, it doesn't even have to blue in wind direction again. Well, it's 12 degrees. Wow, 12 degrees. Madrid, you'd think it would be like scorching. Q and H is 10-10. Same as Alicante last night. Uh, the wind, yeah, it doesn't have the magnitude. How do munchies? I can change all these bits of our fuel info. Actually, I don't need all the fuel on board. Let's dump some fuel. We're going out to our usual 30%. There we go. You've got Madrid control contact. You're going to be landing first. Round we go. Look at that. Yeah, making our way down though. So I think where those people are, that's Madrid. Oh, see, Brian, just a Zoom meeting. Nice. Just got home time to download some Horseshoe Curve. Awesome, Munchin. There's Glenn. Glenn, golf match Sunday. I'm gonna win. <laughs> We're not uh, white, I know. No, I, I, I do mean to try out that sim. I have a meaning to try it out. Well, I think I think if I'm in that sim, I can't do this sort of multiplayer. I suppose we could switch it around each time, though. Alright, let's see. All good. How you doing, Glenn? Yeah, it's all good, uh, French Toad. Oh, it's race night, isn't it, tonight? Yeah, so we'll be live around... Oh, what would it be? Nine-ish? Yeah, nine-ish. For about an hour and a half. That's all good. We're only going at 2.40 at the moment. So we are about 60 miles out of Madrid now. Awesome power. Making our way down even more. But yeah, not too far now. So it's about 50 miles until our sort of final approach. Which 50 miles in a plane isn't a lot. So. I uh, don't know quicker, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> Take my crown back off you. You can try your best. Oh god, what are you? 6,000 already? Wow. Are you sure you're on 32 left? Looks like Power and French Dogar. What are you on, um, Laser Jet? You're sort of in line for the runway, but you're all sort of over that way. Awesome, Sebastian. 
Mm. Oh, so yeah, it looks like you're sort of in line. You'll be turning then. Really high up though. <laughs> Just gonna say. I mean, I'm at nineteen thousand. That's gonna be a really steep descent. I don't know how far are you away. You can't be that far away, can you? I reckon you might be a bit too high up there. Could be wrong though. You pick 32 left. Yeah, you should be on R1 then. Unless it's taking you to the other side. No, it wouldn't be on the other side. Unless at the last second you'll be coming around. Madrid seems to be broken for us. Uh oh, what's it doing? Hello Lewis, have you ever flown with Vueling? I know you go to Spain a lot. Low budget airline this one. Yeah, I've already dumped some fuel. Oh, I don't know, quicker too long ago. Right, let's turn on the CSTR. Yeah, 14,000 by Sergu and 6,000 by Asbin. Any other airports around here? No, not really. Nope. <laughs> we will see. If not power, if you are too high and you need to sort of go back, uh, if you go to direct 2, you can then find what waypoint there is. So, I don't know, you can click on, say, Sergu. And then press TMPY direct, and it will direct you. The autopilot will direct you to um, to there. Never been on it. Coming down at a good rate at the moment. One thing we actually didn't do, we didn't ever actually change the standard. Well, they haven't said about our altitude, so but yeah, it didn't change at all. So that's all good. Yeah, we didn't change to standard, which we should have really done, but it seems it didn't actually make a difference anyway. It's only a shortish flight, so. Ah, oh, see, so French dog. Yeah, the best way, just ignore the uh, ATC, the best way to see what altitude you need to be at is by clicking CSTR. That is the best way. It's a bit RLSV, runway 32 left, approach for has been transition. Close to has been. No altimeter setting just yet. Have you been set to contact Madrid approach? I won't be too far off. Starting to come down though. G due time is 38 past, so about 10 minutes or so. Um, just got an update, nobody dead, but five confirmed injured. Shooter still on the loose. That was on the subway, was it, Munchies? I hope they do find him. I imagine they probably will. I mean, the amount of cameras probably in New York. Probably tracking him. Or her. Hello, Mason. How are you? Fruit loop. Right, let's uh, bring that down to 40. Don't know, quick go. Twenty uh, nautical mast has been on platform. Oh, just sort of there. Yeah, I'll sure, give it a couple more hours, probably dealt with. The next British route should be the West Coast Main Line to Birmingham. That'll be cool, Mason. Yeah, well, the next British route's Spirit of Steam, isn't it? And then after that, we we don't know uh, what it's going to be. Nothing on the roadmap, so... I know. 
What does everyone think the next British route's going to be after Spirit of Steam? I'd imagine probably a modern one. Uh, oh, I see, yeah, uh, Brian. I reckon it'll be like the West Coast Main Line or something. Or like one of the biggies. Not making this wrong way. Yeah, it could be the Metropolitan Line. We'll have to wait and see. WPT NDB. Yeah, not too far off now. A Welsh route, that would be cool. Right, let's come down to about 200. Uh, I can find a runway long enough to put it down. One two four decimal oh three to zero thirty. Cool. So who's going around? Oh, I see Brian. Our temperature is twenty nine eighty three. So hardly different to what it was before. Oh. Uh, I don't think I need to acknowledge that, do I? 29.83. See, hardly a difference. Well, she has 10 to then. Yeah, possibly. That's true. Yeah, just trains. Maybe they're doing one... Um, maybe we'll see a British route before Spirit. We'll see maybe by Just Trains. I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. I think Just Trains have done... Japanese stuff, British stuff. I think that's all they've actually done, actually. Must be a German route. That'd be cool, uh, laser jet. Oh, I see munchies. Welcome back, Amanda. A little bit further. Approach will be 146. Well, it should be 146. Let's quickly have a look. Yeah, 146. Alright, that's 32 left final. So, yeah, we're not too far now. Hello, England, how are you? Back into the cloud. It's supposed to be Madrid, it's supposed to be Spain, it's supposed to be sunny all the time. Not oh, overcast. <laughs> Oh, I see munchies. Tell passengers to get ready. Yeah, they're all ready. Well, you guys are the passengers. So you better be ready. Yeah, possibly, Angie. Oh, see you in a bit, Glenn. Take my golf crown back. We'll see about that. Oh, hello, there's, uh <laughs> Hello, uh French Doge. Where's he off to? You'd like to see me try a fighter jet one time. That would be cool. I feel like I probably would end up crashing. It would be going so quick and... Yeah. Let's get the flaps set. There we go. Yeah, almost uh, landing. Not long now. They kind of way down. It's not too far until final now. Hey, it's actually come on this time. Good. Uh, 
We are now below 10,000. Yeah, prepare for, prepare for land. In fact, I'm quickly going to turn off the tags. Uh, the name tags. So they can be quite distracting when you're coming in. Name tags are off. Oh, blimey. Uh, French toe. Coming into land, nice laser jet. I'm about 20 miles out. Going over a bit of a high, high bit of ground there. That's still 5,000. Unless this Madrid is just genuinely quite high up. Yeah, must be. I mean, I think Madrid's like in the middle of a desert, isn't it? Not like a desert, but it's a really dry part, a bit of land. Someone else is over there. Yeah, I see someone to my right. I think that might be a uh, French dog. <laughs> I'll see, yeah. Mansu, I suppose that's one way to land. Hello, Ben, how are you? Well, someone's, if that is French dog over there, I'm going to come down now so that I don't uh, block his way. One one eight one five five. Awesome power. Eighteen miles southeast. Ah, oh, this V runway thirty two left approach. Twenty eighty three wind three oh nine at nine cleared. Oh that's V runway thirty two I think that's our pattern entry instructions. Think. Oh no no whoa 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 don't look don't look at them don't look at it. Yeah, that's better. Got to turn it off. Yeah. Bad entry instructions. Well, I mean, I think it is near enough straight ahead to the airport now. Yeah. Let's get the LOC on. Gotta get that set to low. Arm the speed brakes. Runway's long enough. Nice. So it's quite a quite a yeah long approach into the airport. Can't see the right. Oh, there it is there. IFR is so good. Was that ILS? ILS or IFR? I imagine we'll be intercepting the glide slope fairly soonish. Someone's down there. Oh, I don't think it's AI either. How oh, nice, uh, Ben. I think Madrid is just generally quite high up. I mean, we're at um, 5,000 feet, although we're only 2,500 above the ground. So Madrid just be, must be just generally quite high above sea level. Right, just about to intercept the uh, glide slope. So we're going to get that ready. Yeah, ready for landing. Whoever is ahead of me, you're probably going to have to take a high speed exit once you land. I don't think we're no. Approach mode's coming on. Mm, be better, slight, slightly better lined up there. Not sure it is. It's going to be quite cloudy. Approach. The wind is knocking us a little bit. Oh, actually, we're not actually. Mm, no, we should be all right. Yeah, that that only worries. That's not completely lined up. Well, I think it is going over. So, 
those uh, are they going onto that runway? Who's that over there? Someone else is coming in there. But they're very close. Who is that down there? I mean, it's multi player, so it's a bit of a free for all, but. Well, I'm just going to bring the speed down a bit early. Yeah, whoever, if that is French dog in front of me, you're going to have to uh, be fairly quick getting off the runway, as we are uh, probably about 20 seconds behind you. Not always, Lewis. No, not always. Obviously now they do, but... There's going to be quite a small gap between uh, touchdown. I'm going slightly slower. This is actually my landing speed, which I would probably plug in fairly soon. But yeah, this is PC Jack. It's got a weird airport, Madrid. Look at the puppies. It's actually still quite high up. It looks really sort of close, but we're still quite high up. There's not a gate, is there? There should be. It's Madrid Airport. <laughs> oh, it's raining as well. Been to Madrid before. And there still looks quite a steep approach. Get that off. And that's on us to bring it down. There is a gate, nice. I was going to say, no gate at Madrid. What's going on? Small increments, nothing too major on this final 500. section. It's quite steep coming into uh, Madrid. It feels a little bit steep. It says we're too low, but I mean, you'd rather be too low than too high at this sort of stage. 300. Hang on, who's. Someone's taken off. 200. That's multiplayer, that's for you. And reverse thrust. 80 knots. Reverse thrust. Cut that off. There you go. Welcome to Madrid. Where's the taxiway? Here it is. What's the best American route in train somewhere to? I'd say probably Harlem line. There we go, we're off. We made it. This is Madrid. A bit weird that person <laughs> taking off as we were coming in there. Well, that, that is multiplayer, so you can expect that sort of stuff. That's why I always check, make sure no one's uh, on approach. Oh, you've been to this airport before. Well, that's a good uh, French dough. Uh, there, there we go. Right, let's uh, contact ground. But uh, there's ground. Uh, taxi to gates. There's just Adams. Gate T17. Wow, that sounds fancy. Where are we going? That way. 
Hello, Atta. You really want me to talk to Jody, don't you, Atta? So if Jody comes into the stream, she comes into the stream. That's what the stream chat's for, chatting in there. Right, uh, let's turn that off. Oh, why don't you chat to Jody at all? I did hear your last transmission. Lovely, Amanda. This is standard transport. Oh, I'm pretty certain this is a runway here. Or is it? Oh, maybe not. Okay, five, six, two. Okay, we're opposite end of the airport. <laughs> In fact, let me quickly turn on the um, tags again. Just to see how busy it is here and how many planes are actually active. Alright, that was a that was a fairly good land, didn't I? No art art, no thanks. Why don't you chat to Jody at all? Where we go? I did copy. Cheers, Mr. Adams. Speaking a whole load of gobbledygook, Arta. A bit rude as well. Cool, so where's everyone else? Everyone else is, uh, let's see. Well, the airport is massive. <laughs> Everyone's on opposite sides. I should leave my plane nice. Hey, is this laser jet over here? That's easy jet over here. Is this laser jet? Oh, no, that's the other livery pack, that one there. Cool, yeah, here we are. And there's our bay there. Cool. There's someone using my spot. Ooh. That's the Ryanair flight doing donuts on the uh, taxiway. <laughs> That's Ryan, eh? What's it doing? It's just turning, 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 keeps turning. Look, it's, go it's going on. <laughs> yeah, that's Ryanair there. It's just turning, turning, turning. What on earth is that plane doing? I mean, that, that's Ryanair for you, look, doing donuts in the middle of the airport. Wow. I knew Ryanair wasn't great from what I've heard, but doing donuts on the taxiway? Well, it's sent me over here, pal. It's all the equipment's over here, so I'll probably. I mean, what on earth is that plane doing? Well, I'm going to try and. Avoid it the best I can. Oh, God, it's coming around, it's coming around. Just, yeah, keep going that way, and we'll probably miss it. I did copy. Stop contacting me. Right, just say it. Avoid that plane. Is there a man with the battens? I think there is. I think. Oh, I got your power. There you go. He likes that. He's saying go straight ahead. Might be blinding him a little bit. Are you going to say stop? No, no stop. Okay, well, I'm, I'm stuck there. And the jetway's just there, so... That should be alright. Smell of garlic. Blimey, heck. Right, let's, um... Let's do that. Let's get the jetway connected. Also get that and that off. Hello, Gregory. Yeah, we're all on the ground. We're all safe. There we go. Right, let's, uh... Disembark the passengers. 
Uh, let's see, ground services, jetway connection. Hopefully they can connect the jetway. Should be able to. Oh, we are a little bit, but that plane was being weird and blocked. Look, it's it's doing donuts at the airport. Look, you can, what on earth is it doing? Gabriel says, "Hola to Amanda." See, you. French Day fans coming in, mate. Wow. That is going to be everyone for today's Microsoft Flight Simulator live stream. That was Barcelona to Madrid, which was quite a nice flight. Thanks to Para, uh, Laserjet. Oh, why is it being all funny? Uh, Laserjet and French Dog for coming in and joining us on today's flight. Uh, I'm up, I'll be back later with some Horseshoe Curve, um, and we'll be going up the South Fork branch. But hopefully, everyone has enjoyed it. Thanks all for coming in, and I hopefully will see you in the next one. See you all and take care. Bye guys.